Last episode, house hunting in Italy, we were in the seaside town of Gallipoli. But today I'm going to the tip of the boot, Santa Maria di Leuca, to tour three renovated vacation homes for sale. I'm Marco, Italian house hunter. And yeah. Salento. What makes this part of Italy so special? It's a question I have to ask, considering how many beautiful places there are in Italy to choose from. But I haven't seen it all yet, and today I'm driving down to Santa Maria di Leuca, the point at the tip of the heel of the boot. And I hope to give myself at least some answers to that question. Why Salento? We're at Santa Maria de Leuca, the tip of the heel of the boot where the two seas meet, the Adriatic and the Ionian. And this sanctuary in this square is called uh, Il Santuario di Santa Maria de Finibus Terre. Sounds long. It basically means that the end of the earth in Latin. The place is so epic that it had to be a name in Latin. And so it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. We have a gorgeous view of the sea here. Let's go explore. This basilica stands where there was once the Roman temple dedicated to Minerva, said to have been converted to a church in the year 43 upon the arrival in Italy of St. Peter, who disembarked in this very town. And elements of its 2000 year history are evident throughout. And now I have to head up the Adriatic coast towards our possible dream home's location in Gaiano del Capo. But first, wouldn't it be great if we could just combine lunch with this view? Okay, so you know I was gonna eat here, right? <laughs> Passed it along the way and there's no way I'm resisting this view. Hope the food is good though. In fact, I find myself in front of the famous Cholo, a goosebump inducing fjord in the heart of the natural park along this coast. The canyon is on an amazing hiking path and the bravest of souls even dive into the water from the bridge. The only diving I'll be doing is into my two-course lunch. So we have this amazing seafood salad with lobster and some cuttlefish and shrimp. And I think there's a fish here as well. This is spectacular with this view. Wow, this was the best I've had yet. This is a uh, orecchiette with the turnip tops and uh, squid. I put um, fried breadcrumbs on the top. The combination between turnip tops and squid is amazing. Here in this location, this food is, it hits the spot. So I've made it to Gagliano il Capo, and I'm here at the office of lovesud.it, a real special group of people who are uh, helping whoever wants to, to uh, buy their dream home down here in the southernmost part of Salento. And I was really curious to know what they think makes Salento such a unique place to live in. So I decided to sit them down and ask. Why Salento? Beh, il Salento eh, si sente nel, nel cuore, eh, quando parlano di pizzica o dei balli eh, proprio loro, eh, già quelli eh, infondono un calore, il calore che avvertono tutte le persone che arrivano qua. È un territorio che scalda l'anima, quindi non solo gli elementi naturalistici, il sole, il mare, la natura, ma anche la... la, la la popolazione stessa insomma alla fine quindi e, e il bello è quello che si crea proprio un legame 
e con, con la gente, per un clima caldo e che si rispecchia nelle, nelle persone rispetto invece al nord Italia. Io una cosa bella che sto notando pure è che stanno aumentando anche i servizi ma senza perdere quella che è poi la naturalezza del posto. Esatto. Quindi perché i servizi servono ovviamente quando uno viene per acquistare, per, per fare una vacanza vuole vederlo, un bel servizio, però senza snaturare poi quella che è la parte più wild, diciamo così, del, del territorio, che è bello che ci sia, che è quella poi che cattura e esatto. che piace tanto. È un territorio che va a passo d'uomo, quindi sì, i ritmi sì. sono più lenti, <ride> esattamente, quindi... E è una, per chi non vuole vivere sì. il, il frenetismo la contrapposizione <ride> esattamente al dinamismo e alla frenesia della città è un buon investimento comprare case in Salento? assolutamente sì e sia dal punto di vista della, della rendita insomma alla fine per la, la, la locazione e sia come territorio per viverci e quindi e ha un ottimo rapporto qualità e prezzo e paragonabile insomma a diversi territori in Italia e, e quindi questo è il nostro punto di forza perché molti vengono qui perché eh, hanno la possibilità di comprare delle oltre a prendere delle belle dimore a un ottimo e a ottimi prezzi e, ma anche di viversi un territorio eh, completamente insomma. Now let's go have a look at these homes for sale. So the first is actually two homes in one. We're going to be seeing three homes today, but the first two are actually contained within this property, the one to the left and to the right. Uh, beautiful revealed uh, stone on the building. Both of these are fully renovated, and I'm excited to let you guys have a, have a look. Obviously, the first striking feature are the high ceilings. Volta Stella, so star vaulted, revealed stone. Absolutely beautiful, very typical of this region. They come sold fully uh, furnished, and so you really don't have to do much with these. The primary purpose for these initially were vacation homes, for, so for being rented out to others but I can definitely see it as being used as a partial personal vacation home or personal part-time residence and then rent it out other times of the year. So this first section of the building, this first apartment, has this great kitchen and living room all integrated into each other with the stairs um, forming a sopalco, so an, uh, an elevated uh, separated space uh, where the bed and that the bedroom area is uh, located. So it is one big open space, but the ceilings are so high that even having this separated high bedroom, you have plenty of headspace. Gorgeous geometry up here. You do have the window at uh, an arm's reach. You can see the revealed stone in detail and kind of give a, a good idea of the dimensions of this apartment from up here. It is a ground floor, but it is rather luminous because you do have an obviously very calm street on which you can open the doors and windows. You have air conditioning, you have heating for the colder months. It comes with all amenities that you would want in a modern vacation rental. So we'll have a, look, a detailed look here at the kitchen. All the appliances are new. Very nice. They took great advantage of the space also under the stairs. And the architect was had a really good detail eye for bathrooms. Really well made with the stone walls. The spaces were very well thought out. You do have a, a window, so you have an outlet for air and uh, obviously uh, everything else you would need in a bathroom. Okay, but we'll uh, head back out and I'll have you guys take a look at the apartment next door. Here's the street. It's a calm street. Galliano del Capo isn't a very large location. It's a small kind of seaside town. You're right 
uh, you're a walk away from those beautiful cliffs that we saw earlier, and we'll enter into apartment number two. This comes with the, the typical Salentino courtyard entry, which is stunning. Really particular, really typical with this Mediterranean uh, style to it. They revealed some of the stone. You also have the, the sky opening over this path as well, letting a lot of light come in. So very typical of this, uh, of this region of Salento. To the right, yes, that was an outdoor shower. And 1890 on the floor is the year of construction of this building. So a really historical structure. Once again, we have the, st the star vaulted stone ceilings and a gorgeous polished stone mosaic floor. So this second apartment does have a separate bedroom, which is here on the left. The same high ceilings. You do have a window here, which lets in a good amount of light and air. Notice the lighting fixtures as well, which are very well placed on the walls under the arches. And that's the same in all of the divisions of these apartments. And personally, I love the way it's furnished with these antique drawers and armoires, which blend in nice with the modern uh, renovation of the spaces. It does come with heating for the cooler months. Personally, I love Salento in the winter. I know it's a beach location during the summer loaded with tourists, but it's in the winter when everything is calm that you really get the typical atmosphere of what these places really are. So we'll cross the hallway and this is the main bathroom of this property. Gorgeous, really well made. Like I said, the architect was great with bathrooms. I love the pastel colors on the walls, the stone sinks, the stone floors. Really well done. And heading down this little uh, space, we have kind of the living area, an interior living area. Obviously not as big as the other apartment, but the benefit is having a separate bedroom. And this is a really cozy nook. But I did want to give you an idea of the space itself. So kind of looking back, you can't see that it is with the high ceilings. It is very airy. It is very... Uh, it does have a spacious atmosphere to it. And in the back we have the kitchen, the kitchenette. It is fully equipped, uh, stove, oven, a little eating area as well. The benefit of this house is you don't have as much dining area or living area, but you have the outdoor space. So we have this little courtyard in the back with another outdoor shower. This would be spectacular during a hot summer day. Um, and this is actually a rather typical thing, which you find in a lot of uh, homes here in Salento, the outdoor shower. But we'll head up because we do have the roof space as well, which is accessible from this apartment. So here you do have an open pallet. Um, they've have put up, put some reclining chairs here with some umbrellas, some plants to give it a really nice vibe. You can grill up here, you can relax up here, and you have a nice view of the gardens of the neighbors and that building to the right, which was the cathedral or the, the main church rather of Galliano del Capo. It is still rather spacious and you do have the higher walls on either side, which is great for giving you shade during the, the hot summer months as well, if you did want to come up here. Just a little view down this street, very quaint. I tried to zoom in there, you do have a, a little view of the sea. It's much easier to see in person than on the, uh, the wide angle of the camera. But we'll head back down. The total area of these two properties together is 110 square meters. So it is a very spacious solution considering that you own both of them. The asking price, 160,000 euros, I think is a, a very uh, reasonable price for what you're getting. No work has to be done, everything is complete. Uh, it's ready to be rented out and it's ready to be used. I mean, I, I can imagine doing quick jumps down here with, with family and some people staying in one of the houses and you know us staying in the others. So it really does leave uh, a wide option of uses 
uh, possible to the owner. And just so you don't forget, 1890, the year of construction of this building. Here they take history seriously. And now we'll head out of this beautiful courtyard. So that was house number one. We're on to house number two. And before I forget, Galliano del Capo has a population of 5,000. So it is a small, tranquil town. And here we are. So the house is, it had just been, been finished being renovated when I arrived. And it's here to the left. You have the high stone revealed star vaulted ceilings that you saw in the other. This is the same architect that did the other houses as well. So you'll see kind of elements in the same style. This is the open space of the kitchen living area. Very well done with the stone. The ceilings aren't as high as the other one, but it is very cozy. I think this would make a really nice vacation home during the summer months when you do have the peak of people coming in. You do have a very well done kitchenette. I love the addition of the kind of Arabian Portuguese uh, style tiles. Very nice. With all the little nooks that you'll find on these uh, lime washed walls as well. I think that it's really charming. This does have a separate bedroom with a very nice high ceiling, very spacious. Again, the light fixtures on these walls are gorgeous and are very photogenic as well. The color palette as well, I think is very pleasing to the eye, very Mediterranean, uh, white, uh, lime washed white walls with the stone color ceilings, floors, and this light blue. So looking out here, this does belong to the property. We'll go outside and have a look at that again later. They use clay roof tiles as the light fixtures here. Very charming. And we'll head back out into the kitchen living room area. I just love the earthy textures of the revealed stone on the wall. I think it's very, very original. You can't find that in too many places around the world. It's a very well designed inbuilt uh, closet space for the kitchen. And heading to the back, yeah, a little, not a charming little window there. And you have two spaces. To the right, we have a kind of extra bedroom. It could be a small bedroom. It can be a little living space. They have it set up as, as if it were a little studio. I can imagine remote working from here in the summer. You take a, a break from the beach and kind of relax here in, in this nook with some AC and get some work done. You do have the, the window up top, so you do have natural light entering as well. And opposite to it, we have the bathroom. Again, I, I just love what the architect does with the, with the bathrooms in, in these properties. Um, beautiful pastel walls. He included a nice, you know, a texture in here with the wooden ladder, stone floors, the stone sinks. Hey, I know you. And then in this case, a shower kind of dug out of the stone walls. So all details have been kind of thought out and executed during the renovation. And you don't have to do anything. You can rent it out immediately. You can live in it immediately. I think lighting was very well distributed in all of the spaces. And oh, the price is 110,000 euros, negotiable. Uh, and the total space was around 50 meters squared. And we'll have a look at what we saw from the window in the bedroom, which is this little garden area in the back, which contains the washing machine, an outdoor sink, a place where you can dry your clothes. I hope you like this episode. I hope you like these two houses. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Grazie e alla prossima.